All right, what's going on guys? It's Matt here and today I'm going to show you my top uh, graphic design websites. Are you ready? Let's go. All right guys, welcome back. My top graphic design website will always and forever be canva.com. If you guys haven't heard about Canva, Canva is completely free or you could pay to upgrade to get even more um, that Canva has to offer. So I'm gonna go and show you guys my current Canva setup, um, some of my favorite things to do in Canva and how you could utilize Canva for your business. So first and foremost, smash that subscribe button um, hit a like on this video for me and drop a comment below to let me know you're watching. So in Canva, they have tons of different things you could do as far as going and making presentations, building websites, Instagram posts, Facebooks, resumes, the whole nine, TikTok videos now, anything, you name it, they have it. So let's get started and let's do a YouTube video ad. So this is something that you could create um, that you could literally just throw right in the beginning of your YouTube video, or if you're building out um, an Instagram page, you could basically lay out your entire design right in Canva. So they have tons of different templates, tons of different video templates that you guys could use. Um, but just be careful because one thing I ran into with some of the stuff I've exported out of Canva, um, you won't be able to monetize. So keep that in mind where you could use the photos, but maybe not the audio. Um, so a great tool to go get the free audio that I know you can monetize is actually right back into like YouTube Studio. So if you go to YouTube Studio and scroll down over here to Audio Library, um, it actually opens up an entire library of free music you guys can use and more importantly, that you can monetize. Um, so you could start making money with your YouTube channel. And keep in mind, you need a thousand subscribers, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to help me out. And you need about 4,000 watch hours, so make sure you watch to the very end of all my videos. Even if you don't like the, what I'm putting out there, you can just mute mine and just let that go to the very end. I'd appreciate that for my watch time. <laughs> but they have tons of different options. So you even download these and then drop them into Canva. So taking you back um, a little bit, so I'll show you how I created that YouTube in, um, intro that you guys just saw. So I'll go back to my all designs. Uh, right here I have a YouTube intro. Um, so I basically made um, a blank um, YouTube. So I started with just like a blank YouTube um, my God, what was I gonna say? Blank YouTube video ad. So that was the basis, just started with a basic white background. Obviously my channel is Million Shark. So what I did is I actually went over to videos. They have a videos button over here and you could search like shark video. And I found um, a bunch of different like random shark videos. Now, if you don't have access to the pro version of Canva, if you're doing this all on the free version, my tip of the day is to go to this little website, pexels.com, um, and you could actually do the same thing. You could type in uh, shark, and then go click on videos, and now you have access to free shark videos that you guys could use and download as well. All you do is download them and then click and drag them into Canva. So I found one that I liked, I added that, and then I went and I grabbed my audio. So you could see the audio's up there. So you could literally just piece the two together. It's in really um, easy, quick edit without having to break open like massive softwares. So now you guys are wondering if the animation on the title, all you have to do is highlight all of your elements on the animation, go to effects, or sorry, go to the three little dots and just click animate. You have all these cool little tools that pop open. And it's literally, I could click that and then I could go and I could hit play. And that renders out and now you got your YouTube intro. But Matt, what about that YouTube outro you had? So this 
is actually just a, we'll go to, you would actually integrate, let me take a step back, you would actually integrate Pexels right through there. So you could actually search Pexels right through Canva. You don't even have to go to the website. So I could actually grab this here. I'll, I'll make it, I'll do shark. Boom, you got it right in there. I just don't know how they handle Pexels for video. Um, but you could definitely use it for images. I don't think you can use it for video. So for video, you're still gonna have to go to the web browser to search it, download that, and import that there. So, um, and then for the outro, um, let me delete that. Um, I went to templates, and you could actually, under templates, you could just search YouTube, like generic YouTube templates. And you go and click that. So this is the exact one I use. You can tell I literally use the exact same one. I just changed up the, um, the words, the logos, and the colors. Um, and now what I could do is I could leave those two blank. Uh, and then YouTube, I could set my YouTube videos to upload to automatically fill those with two videos that they want you to watch based on the algorithm. But what I do just to cover my butt is I say, hey, check out my website for more and make sure you subscribe. Um, so there's no really right or wrong way to do that. So when it comes to exporting, um, be careful. So when you hit download and you do all pages, it's actually going to merge the two files together, which is not what you want. So you're gonna have to go and you're gonna have to select each page individually and download them individually. Um, and this is why when you go to bring it into your editor, you don't have to sit there and split the clip every time you wanna do it. If you wanna do it that way with one video file for intro, outro, that's cool. I would highly suggest you split those videos now this way you don't have to worry about that later on. And that is how you have a quick, um, easy uh, YouTube intro slash outro. And the best thing to do now, here's my free tip of the day, is you have a skill that you just made. You could go to, let me switch to selling and I could go and I could sell YouTube intros. And now you have people charging, you know, as low as $10 for intro outro videos. So something that could literally, you could use with the free software with get free videos from Pexel, free music from YouTube. You could basically create generic YouTube intro out, outros and start monetizing that on the back end of your Fiverr account. This way you guys could, you know, start making money through Fiverr as well. And people are charging, look at $1,100 for a YouTube intro outro. You know, this person's charging 55. Uh, this person's charging 35, $1,000. So it's like, you could start, you could scale this up. So hopefully you guys found this information useful, helpful. Again, you know, all the free stuff you need is Pexels. You know, you could use this all on the free version of Canva. You don't have to upgrade to the pro. Um, so, and you now just learned a free skill. So if this video helped you out, make sure you subscribe smash the like button and then comment below let me know as always i'll see you guys in the next video